You better get used to it. Welcome to another episode of Windshield Wisdom. Yours, Bruley here. Headed home from my office. Just finished up a video conference. I had a, a guest expert come on. We're talking about media, whether it's television, uh, digital media, print, radio, doesn't matter. Um, it's a necessary evil, earned or paid media. But specifically what I wanted to talk to you about right now was video. Whether it's TV, and when I say TV, I mean like cable or network TV, or what the kids call TV today, and that would be YouTube. Talk to either of my two kids. Hey, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're just sitting in our room watching TV. To them, you know, when they say that, what that means is they're watching something on YouTube on their phone or the iPad. That's their idea of TV. I think the beauty of that for you as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, is that you've got a television studio in your pocket. It's called your smartphone. The quality of the camera that you're watching this video that this video is recording on is better than network television studio cameras from just eight years ago. That's the technology you're armed with. Are you putting it to good use? I can't tell you how many business owners I talk to who don't have a presence on YouTube, who don't have a presence on Facebook Live video, Instagram video, Instagram TV. They're not sharing their story through video content because they don't like the way they look, they don't like the way they sound, they question if anybody would, quote, be interested. And I think when they question if anyone would, quote, be interested, it's an excuse for them not feeling comfortable with their face in front of a camera. I know the irony of this is my face is not on the camera. That's because it's pitch dark inside my car. So I'm shining the headlights on the road. It's also why it's called Windshield Wisdom. Thank you very much. But the point remains, you need to get comfortable with your face in front of a camera today more than ever. Why? Because with the pandemic, with the quarantine, with the social distancing at the time of this recording, August 2nd, 2020, people are still quarantining. Uh, you, you can't gather in more than groups of 20 in the state I live in. You can't go to church, you can't go to a conference, convention, association meeting, chamber of commerce, business after hours, anything like that to network, get your name, face, voice, and brand out there. So how are you gonna do it? You better get comfortable with YouTube and Zoom. Yesterday. Why? Because people need to be able to associate a name and a face and a voice with your brand. Or if they know your name, they need to be able to associate a face and a voice with it. Because that will build trust. There's a certain amount of eye contact that actually does come with uh, building trust, even if it's through video. You'll build way more trust and social equity and rapport with a short video than with a million articles. And that's just the reality of it. And that's coming from you know, a self-proclaimed author, right? I'm an author, speaker, and executive coach. But I'm doubling down, I'm putting, investing way more time, energy, and resources in the video content than I am, you know, books, magazine articles, com, uh, columns, blogs, newsletters, email newsletters, way more time, energy, and resources in video for that single reason. Not able to get in front of groups of people. Hell, it's to the point where California and Massachusetts, just to name a couple, uh, have designated phase four of the pandemic. Phase four is uh, you can gather in groups of 100 or more. 
but they've designated phase four is only taking place when there's a vaccine. So who knows how long that's going to take. That could take forever, like a year or two. So if you rely on being able to go to a trade show to market, have a trade show booth, uh, maybe you're a professional speaker like me, keynote speaker, uh, you do corporate training in groups of larger than 20, or, you know, you host events of 100 or greater. Perhaps you're a comedian. Comedy clubs host, you know, more than 100 people a night, that's for sure. You're a musician, an entertainer that, you know, plays music festivals and theaters and arenas. Not happening. You better get comfortable with video. Because that's all you're going to have for a while in many states. And the states that have opened up, if they all of a sudden start to have a flare-up of COVID... They're going to be ratcheting back that uh, groups of 100. And that number is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller, depending on what phase they, they decide to grade things. So my message to you is simple. This is a short video. I'm trying to impress upon you the fact that you really ought to use video in some way, shape, or form. And maybe, you know, like you're watching sort of a roving tour of the community I live in. Uh, as I'm driving if you're not comfortable putting your face you know on the video maybe you just turn the camera around and do a tour of your facility your manufacturing plant your um, retail store your office, wherever your uh, work environment is. And just narrate that tour to share your brand message. That could be a great baby step for you. But you gotta do whatever it takes to develop, uh, to flex those muscles, train those muscles, and get comfortable being on camera. Because the reality of it is, the whole, who said it, Shakespeare, all the world's a stage and we're performers. We need to get used to performing and really just about everything's captured on camera these days anyway. Uh, you just don't know you're on camera. There are security cameras everywhere. So really, you're already on camera a heck of a lot. You just don't know it. So make it official. Get comfortable. Start that uh, YouTube series like you see here that I'm doing. Uh, or simply start to put out small bits of content, Instagram TV, Facebook Live, whatever it is. Uh, go where your ideal audience tends to congregate, whichever medium that is. That's what I got for you today on Windshield, tonight on Windshield Wisdom, that is. If you haven't been over to coachbrew.com, head on over there, sign up for my email newsletter, and you will get a free special report valued at $99. Why is it valued at $99? I'm glad you asked. It's a really great question. It's because it is a sample of my premium newsletter. The members of my inner circle pay $99 a month to access. The one you'll receive for free as a sample, it's called 12 Ways to Double Your Sales, Double Your Results. You can get that at coachbrew.com. See you on the next episode of Windshield Wisdom.